John, thanks for joining Trots TV for the CEO's blog. Uh, we've got more Carnival of Cups meetings coming up this weekend. We have the Cowra Carnival of Cups, and they've got a couple of main uh, feature races with the Sam Agostino Memorial, as well as the Mother's Day Cup. Yeah, follow us on from a very strong 10 race program last week at Cowra. Um, good racing. Um, eight races this Sunday, and uh, I suggest everyone goes along and sees harness racing at this very quaint uh, Western Districts track. And of course, it uh, follows on from uh, Rocky, better known as Better Bet Black's um, second um, win in the Newcastle Mile. Successive wins there, and uh, congratulations to Darren McCall for his persistence with that, that horse. But yeah, tabbed Carnival Cups rolls on. Nearly over now. We've, we've only got after a cow of the of course we've got a, a big long weekend with um both um, peak hill and Pen uh, fairfield and I'm, I'm sad to say that that will be the last meeting at fairfield that, that we know of okay well yeah we can't all the cups winding up but just getting started is the alabar breeders challenge series for 2017. and yeah, next wednesday at um at wagga the first of the heats and um there's heats right around the state of course leading into that very big uh, final day on on June 25 so um, we, we look forward to it uh, hopefully everybody um, enjoys a win in the series um, conditions have changed uh, a little bit um, in this this year so I suggest that um, owners and trainers keep an eye on our website and there'll be notices going up on the on the front banner um, as, as these uh, are relevant um, for them to follow through what they need to do and where they need to be and how well they need to win. So this is in terms of this this series coming up, do you mean? Or? Yeah, this series coming up. Um, uh, one one thing that uh, when we have the review of the Breeders' Challenge, uh, if you've won a heat, um, you can't contest the, the last round of heats, uh, which are open heats at um, uh, Tapacore Park Manangle. So that's one little piece of uh, information that um, owners will need to know, that um, stay in the race uh, just because you get beaten in the heat you know you won't have to race against that horse again in that final round. Okay. All right, let's talk about this Friday. It's a big day. It's a closing date for a couple of things. Yeah, closing. Uh, Harness Racing New South Wales is not closing, of course. We work 24-7 um, year-round. But uh, the closing date for the Rising Stars, so clubs and associations who uh, haven't put in a nomination for the Rising Stars, uh, certainly Friday's your last chance. And, of course, these are only nominations. Um, Harness Racing then... Uh, New South Wales then look at those nominations, the stewards look at the nominations, the executive looks at the nominations and the, the, the representatives for each of the regions are then um, taken on board and it, it's, it's outstanding um, the support that the Rising Stars have had in recent years and certainly it's an opportunity for these young people to come together, uh, get to know each other, um, of course behave themselves always and enjoy a week around the state uh, doing what they like best and that's racing in uh, in events and at the end of the day on, on Breeders Challenge Day there will be a champion for this year. Yes, okay and also closing this Friday is a position at Tamworth Paceway. Uh, two positions at Tamworth, um, it's the Promotions uh, Facilities Managers position and also the Track Curator Groundsman's position, both full-time positions so anybody that's um, up in that area I would I would suggest um, have a look at our website, um, see whether those positions may suit you and, and get your application in by Friday. Okay. Uh, also this week, unfortunately, we lost another one of our participants in Ian Mutton, who passed away on Monday. Yeah, Mutts, as he was known to um, all and sundry, I suppose. Um, a, a champion driver, certainly a, a, an outstanding trainer as well, but um, I, I can go back to the years of King Frost when he was he was battling it out with Hondo Grattan, Cocky Raider, all the best that were in the Western Districts. Um, Mutts was there with King Frost and doing a marvellous job. He had another horse called Little Time, another one called Bully and Bandit. They were the, the champions of my, my, my very, very, very much younger uh, era. But ha since then, the, the countless winners Ian has had right up until the, the time of his passing. Um, to Barb, uh, all his friends um, and relatives, um, Harness Racing New South Wales extends our condolences and the funeral will be next week um, at um, Paceway Bathurst. Um, the club's got right behind that next Tuesday. Um, uh, Bathurst, Bathurst was um, Ian's home. Bathurst Paceway was Ian's home. But uh, just to reflect on on what Ian used to tell me in more recent times. Um, whether it was a new paceway or the old paceway, he still loved Bathurst, uh, but I would suggest more so the old paceway. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Well, thanks for your time this week, John, and we'll catch up again next week. My pleasure, Amanda.